Okay, so I'm just going to take a look at some of the EQs that I'm using um, and some of the mic pre's I'm using. Okay, so for the kick and snare, um, I'm using some vintage Calrex. They are the model number is a PQ13472. Um, I just call them the blue ones. Um, they're just uh, blue with nice colours on them. That's why I bought them. Uh, they're really, really nice, very Neve style, um, very popular. BBC used to use them a lot in the old days, and they're excellent. Um, probably what I would call about 98% of a Neve, but slightly different. Anyway, nice and retro sounding, very full. So what have I got here on this snare channel? On this one, um, I have some high-end boost. I'm looking at a frequency of just under 10k and I'm boosting it just a little bit here so a li well fair fair amount actually because it's an SM57 it does need some boost now what we've got is a quite a drastic mid-range cut on this um, we've got somewhere just above 560 Hertz um, and that's probably we've just dialed and fiddled around with that and we've cut that all the way so we've got rid of that and we've got a wider cue on that um, coming down to the next frequency, we're at um, we're flat here actually at the moment. So I, I sometimes cut at about um, 80, but there at the moment we're actually flat. And then at the bottom, um, I've actually just got there's nothing going on. I'm just shelving at the bottom and the top so really I'm not interfering with the top and the bottom so the EQ is in and actually we've got the phase button in at the moment obviously uh, something that would, would listen to and check the phase so that's the the, the um, snare drum the bass drum right now I've got um, at the top end a little bit of top end boost and that would be actually not on high high but we're talking about um, 5k so a little bit of 5 to yeah a bit of five to five and a half K slight small boost on there in the um, phase also uh, the face button is switched in at the moment um, on the next frequency on the mid-range we, we're back at um, about just over 560 that's cut all the way with a wide cue and then as we're coming down to the bottom end I'm on just above 56 the sweet spot for bass drums 63 kilohertz there's a little bit of a boost. That's the magic frequency, 63. You can, if you've got some an EQ on Logic, fiddle around with that and have a listen to it. Um, and then that's it. Nothing going on um, in terms of I'm not cutting out any other frequencies. So that's the kick and snare taken care of. Um, everything else on the pre's is a straight in and out. So I've got some handmade Bailey Brothers here, um, and um, these are beautiful. Um, <laughs> Mike Pre's. Um, we've got the hats, um, two toms here, and that's my 58 ambient mic, and they just go in and out. And um, I've got two ambient mics which are going through this Vintec 1073, uh, 473, which is 1073 copy. It's absolutely great. And on those, there's no EQ. I've just got Phantom, um, no phase, no EQ, and then that's just got ins and outs. So that's just straight in and straight out. On the overheads, um, I'm using the DW Fern. Doug Fern has made absolutely beautiful, very um, lush sounding valve mic pre. And uh, this is what I put on the overheads and they're just straight in and out. I love those, really nice, they sound very natural. And it's a valve pre, so you get a little bit of natural compression in there because of the valves, sounds great. Um, no EQ going on those at the preamp level. When I get to the desk level, um, we can talk about a couple of these EQs. Uh, at the desk level, so I've got the overheads coming in here. Um, a tiny little bit of top end added, just a little bit. Um, I've got a little bit of subtractive EQ at about 225 kilohertz. Sorry, 225 hertz. Just a tiny bit taken off, and then I'm adding just a little bit of about 2.5 kilohertz on those. So just fiddle around with that. Uh, <clears throat> the toms, I'm adding a little bit of bottom on both, a little bit of top on both, 
cutting some about 275 on both toms and then I'm adding on the um, floor tom I'm adding some about 5.5 kilohertz so that's um, uh, high mid or low top and um, on the uh, high tom I'm cutting a little bit of no I'm not I'm flat on that oh no I'm boosting a tiny bit of just over 1k and um, I'm cutting a little bit of about um, 300 300 Hertz that's it so on the hats um, a tiny bit of high end added no sorry a tiny bit of bottom end added and the high end just a tiny cut on the top end then a big cut at two, about just over 220 and then a big boost at no a tiny boost at 18 there we are that's that snare um, that's all done the snare drums all done from the um, mic pre so there's no channel EQ on there and then the kick um, actually on this recording I haven't got any EQ in it but usually I boost a little bit of top end on the channel maybe um, and that's that's about it uh, the ambience I leave as they are no EQ and the sub kick just goes straight in so that pretty much sums it up no compression to tape <laughs>